I know that some, I know there's people sitting out here right now that are like, okay, this dude is crazy. Like, he's up here saying, like, yo, the way you talk to kids, like, you got to talk to kids, like, like, okay, John, I need you to get off the tab. But you, you, I know, I know you're, what you're thinking. Like, and so, like, you're thinking that I'm being soft on kids and that I think we should be soft on kids. By no means am I saying that people need, that uh, teachers, administrators, we need to be soft on kids. It's not even about that. Um, in fact, when I was a teacher, and at times when I was an administrator, I did the exact opposite of what I'm saying right now. And I think, I'm just, even if you're restorative, you're still going to, at times, do this. Like, nobody's perfect. Like, that's part of being human. But when I say primary behavior versus secondary behavior, I'm not talking about really Johnny just yelling at you when you tell him to get off the table. This is what I'm talking about avoiding secondary behavior. This is the reality of what secondary behavior can be. This was done by a first grade student uh, when I was an assistant principal. And this student did this because he didn't get one point on his behavior chart. Because he needed one point in order to be able to go get a prize. And the, the thing about it was it was a power struggle between him and the teacher. He probably should have got the point, but the teacher didn't like something he was doing in that moment and took the opportunity to go ahead and prove a point so she thought to him. Well, I think he proved the bigger point, right? He proved the point of, I'm about to tear this room up. And the one thing I think about when I see this, when I, so when I got called down, because this was after school pretty much, like this was when, as we were dismissing, I got called to go down to the first grade hallway. And when I got down there, I just look at the room and I see him. And I'm, I'll be honest, I was just instantly jealous. Like I was just jealous of the fact that at six or seven years old, he got an opportunity to show the level of frustration that I've never been able to show in my life. And so I made him pick every single piece of block, paper, pencil up. Because I'm like, how dare you come on this earth and in just six or seven years be able to tear up a classroom and be able to show your true frustration that I've never been able to do ever. I would have never thought, thought to have done this when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only, this isn't the only time this has happened in a school. I'm pretty sure this has happened in this school. I'm pretty sure this may have happened in this school this year. We're talk this is what I'm talking about when I say avoiding secondary behavior. Because when they get on a roll like this, what are you going to do? The reality is they kind of have all the power. Uh, we we kind of feel like, you know, because we're in a position of authority that, yeah, we control the situation, but that is not necessarily the case. They have way more power than we give them credit for, but I think really they have way more power than they're aware of. Because when he did this, the reality of it is, no matter what, whether he picked it up or whether somebody else picked it up, this classroom had to get back together so that kids could come to it the very next day. And so our number one focus should be avoiding getting to this point in the first place.